Hi, I'm going to show you how to build um, no texting while driving with the Java Bridge. Um, mainly, I'm going to show you how to how to get a Java Bridge app running. Um, so I'm over here on the mobile programming uh, course website, um, and you can see the Java Bridge jar file is here. So I'm going to download that guy and save it. I'll just save it to my downloads directory for now. Okay, so that's the jar file. That's the bridge jar file that you're going to add in all your all your apps um, that use the Java bridge. And I'm also going to, on this no texting page here, sample, I'm going to go ahead and get the attachment and uh, download it And save it. So I've got those two files now. Now I'm going to come back over to Eclipse and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new um, subfolder. Okay. And the folder name is going to be called Libs and this is what you do when you're going to add libraries to, to a project. Um, then I'll open up my downloads directory and here's my jar file so I'm going to grab that jar file and stick it in libs um, so there it is now one thing you better be careful to do is is to uh, right click on this thing and choose build path and add to build path and that way your app knows about the <coughs> library file so I now got my library in there and I'm going to actually go to so here's the kind of default Java code that gets created for me. So I'm going to go back to my downloads and grab the one I want to grab here and I'm going to stick it in here in my source code. So that's great. So now I've got the file I want. This is the file I don't want. Um, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, that was just the one generated by Eclipse. So that guy's going to go and then I got kind of one more bookkeeping thing to do. So I've added this new file, um, but I need to make sure that my manifest file knows about it. So I'm going to open up my manifest file. And if you go over to the XML for it, you'll see the, the first activity that gets launched is set right, right here. So we need to change that. And instead of what it was, it's going to be um, this thing called no texting while driving activity. So I'm going to just copy that, go back to my manifest and change this to no texting. And now my app is ready to use this as the main window. Okay, so now I've got the sample code I brought in, which is a no texting app. I've got my library set up correctly. I've got my manifest file set up to deal with the first window that opens up. The last thing I need to do is permissions. And permissions, um, you, can, you can do them with this little GUI builder. You can also just do them directly in the manifest. And in fact, for uh, no texting, we've got to make sure that SMS sending and receiving is okay. And if you look at my notes over here, there's two things we need. One is this receive SMS. So I'm going to kind of grab it, copy it. And up here uh, in the permissions, we will add that baby. So you can add permissions either you know directly in this uh, manifest file, and you'd have to do a search for to find exactly you know the text to use or the exact form to do or you can go to this permissions tab and if you say add and what you want to choose is uses permission because you're you're just specifying that your app will use a built-in permission that's already there with Android say okay and then this uh, little dialog comes up and I don't think there's a quick way to find it but what we want is the um, send and receive SMS. So one of them we want is, whoops, sorry, I grabbed the one wrong. We want receive SMS. Make sure you get return on that, and it gets added. Um, then add another one. 
So we've got the receive. We still want a user's permission. And now we're going to want to find the send SMS. Because we want our app to both send and receive SMS. So now I've got both those permissions and if you notice in the in the manifest file they're both they're both there. So now if I save this guy, my app is ready to receive and send texts.